What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech, and a PC performance patch has come out for Dishonored 2. We're going to go ahead and take a look at it again with the same cards we looked at it with before, which is going to be the RX 488GB and the GTX 1066GB. If you guys are interested in either the test bench we used to test this with or the actual benchmark run itself, please check out the original video, which I will put somewhere up here. Now to access the PC performance patch, it's actually not just being pushed automatically through the Steam updater. You'll have to go into the game properties and go to the betas tab and opt into the beta to download it. Then the game will patch and you'll have the new PC performance patch. So now that we've done that, we can take a look at the benchmarks. Alrighty, so hopping into it, we're going to take a look at the GTX 1060 first, and we're going to be taking a look at what we had post-patch and what we had pre-patch and compare those numbers to see if we got any benefit from the latest patch. At 1080p, the GTX 1060 pre-patch had a minimum of 57 FPS with an average of 73 and a max of 117. Post-patch, it had a minimum of 62 with an average of 79 and a max of 116. We definitely see a pretty significant gain here in the fact that we are now staying above 60 FPS with that minimum frame rate. So there is some improvement here for, for the 1060. Moving up to 1440p, pre-patch we had a minimum of 41 with an average of 54.7 and a max of 80 FPS. Post-patch we had a minimum of 43 with an average of 55.9 and a max of 86. Once again we see a slight improvement here, albeit not by that much anymore as we bump up in resolution. This is even more apparent with 4K where pre-patch we had a minimum FPS of 26 with an average of 32 and a max of 43. While post-patch we had a minimum of 27 with a max of 32.3 with an average of 32.3 excuse me and a max of 42 FPS. So it's kind of weird we aren't seeing a ton of bump here. Let's move over to AMD and see if we got any more significant increases. Starting out at 1080p pre-patch we had a minimum FPS of 50 with an average of 74 and a max of 102. Post patch we had a minimum of 56 with an average of 74 and a max of 107. Not that much, actually not even near as impressive because we still have minimum frame rates under 60 FPS. Bumping up to 1440p, we saw a minimum FPS of 36 with an average of 49 and a max of 72 pre-patch and post-patch we saw a minimum of 38 FPS with an average of 50.1 and a max of 72. I guess at least we're getting over 50 FPS now on average, which I guess I could say is a slight improvement. Moving up to 4K, pre-patch we had a minimum of 24 FPS with an average of 31.6 and a max of 41 FPS. While post-patch we actually had a minimum frame rate drop to 19 FPS with an average of 31 and a max of 42, so just slightly higher max resolution. So absolutely no improvement in fact, probably debatably worse improvement of 4K for the RX 480 in this case. So the final conclusion is still the same. If you want to play Dishonored 2 and you want the best experience, the GTX 1060 is the way to go. That being said, the game is still poorly optimized and I really need to mention a couple things here. I went ahead and looked at what they added into the PC performance patch because obviously it didn't make much of a difference here. And as I was playing through the game myself, the same areas that were trouble areas or areas where the FPS would drop significantly lower are still there. So they didn't actually patch specific areas that need to be attended to at this point. What they did do is they added an adaptive resolution option similar to what we saw with Halo 5 on the Xbox One earlier, I guess, in this generation. And then what we've been seeing in a lot of the Windows 10 stores like Forza Horizon 3 and so on. So this was their answer or their PC performance patch. Unfortunately, if you put it on either quality or balanced, you actually, it, it appears to do absolutely fucking nothing to me. If you do put it on performance oriented over quality or balanced, there is a significant improvement, but it does significantly 
this word's being used too much, but it does significantly hurt the visual fidelity of the game where things do look not just a little bit pixelated, but very, very pixelated. And you can even see this even in more detail if you're doing like an adaptive resolution at, at 4K, which is what I was doing on the Titan XP while I was kind of trying to research what was going on here. So that being said, you can get a smooth 60 FPS frame rate for the most part with still drops. It still will drop below 60 FPS, even with adaptive refresh rate, but not near as bad into those weird like 30s or even crazy 20s but it's still a poor pc port it's a it's a it's a poor excuse for a pc performance patch too it's in my opinion kind of bullshit and pisses me off a little bit i don't know tell me what you guys think in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next tuesday